Hey guys, Scotty here. Um, I just wanted to come today, guys, and talk about why I think I know who the Antichrist is. And hopefully this will plant a seed in you if you don't believe. I just ask you please to listen because this is valuable information to anyone and what's going on. And the reason I'm posting this now is because I do believe the rapture is imminent. And I believe anyone left behind this could help them. And also, just in general, I think this is good to know. So... I'm going to go back, guys, to 2020, um, back when the t pandemic first started. I was on Twitter, and I was I was basically a Republican. I was basically posting things about why Trump's the best, here's his accomplishments. I would have charts that would list accomplishments, post them under, like, people who didn't uh, believe in him. And then one day, my account just instantly got banned, and I felt in my spirit, I was like, wait a second, like, why would this happen? And it led me down this rabbit hole of finding out that he wasn't who I think he is. And um, I started noticing things shortly after that where um, I started noticing things he was doing that were like, wait a second. Because I had come back to the Lord and started realizing things were different than I thought. And so on my birthday basically the Abraham Accords, Accords were started and right away the name Abraham stuck out to me and so I was like wait a second and in the Bible guys it says the Antichrist will sorry guys I have planes by my house but it says the Antichrist will basically cause an agreement with Israel with all of his enemies okay that's what the Abraham Accords is guys it's still going on there's still Israel's enemies that are in it and joining and that's basically that agreement and he is the one that started that okay so then we we go a little fur further than that um when he was um in charge he was going to Israel all the time and him and Netanyahu were talking about rebuilding the third temple okay he has a temple coin where Donald Trump is on it okay I've, sh I've showed it in two of my videos, the one I just posted and then Son of Perdition. Okay, so two things out of three things in the Bible it says the Antichrist will do, I've now told you, okay? And then the third thing that the Antichrist is supposed to do is um, he's supposed to be a man of peace, okay, in the Bible. And... So if you talk to any of his supporters right now, they'll tell you, oh, this war wouldn't be happening if Trump was in office. Well, to me, that sounds like the man of peace. On top of that, he has a coin where he's talking about peace, which I've, I've shared in that video also. And he really seems like a peaceful man to a lot of people. And this isn't even something I think that the next thing is major, but it still points to him. As it says, the Antichrist will be loved and hated by many. Well, look at Trump. He's loved and hated by many. There's constant arguments all over the internet with it. And so, it's just guys, it's very obvious to me he is the guy. I mean, his daughter just converted to Judaism. I mean, that's just, to me, that's straight up just weird. She just decided to do that right now. And, um... I don't know guys, there's just so much. I mean, literally everything in the Bible that says this is the Antichrist and this is what he'll do, Donald Trump has done. And even the conflicts in Israel leading to this war right now, including the general that he drone striked a few years ago, that guy, they're still saying, is the cause of a lot of the conflict and bad relationships with Israel, and that was something Donald Trump did. And so, that is what I'm trying to point out to you guys is, a lot of the things he has done or is doing is leading to this third temple and is leading to him being in charge. Even right now with him trying to rile up people to protest, which I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But all of this stuff, guys, is him trying to get back into power. And I do believe right now if we were raptured and let's say the tribulation starts on this earth, Donald Trump, I believe, is going to be the guy who comes back and everyone thinks he's going to save it all. Um, I also wanted to mention, guys, he has a lot of symbolism around magician, sorcery, magic. Um, even MAGA stands for magician, sorcery. And so, it's just, guys, it's like, 
he has so many things, even Space Force he created, I mean, if you already have figured out that all of that is just um, a lie, then that's going to be easier for you to understand, but I do believe Space Force was created so when we're gone, they can do that UFO thing where they say, oh my gosh, aliens must have took all these Christians or all these people, and um... I believe that's why Space Force was created. It has a lot of evil imagery around it with Egyptian type imagery, things like that, that we know are not on the side of the Bible. So I just want to mention that too, because I mean, guys, I'm telling you, the symbolism around that guy is everywhere. Even his hats, things that he merchandises, there's evil messages on it. So um, I just want you guys to see what I'm saying and give you more evidence. Um, another thing, guys, um, he takes pictures with the Bible. He, take pic he takes pictures in churches. I've seen him give speeches of Jesus, which Christians will watch and go, Oh my gosh, he's such a great Christian. When there's videos of him saying, I'm not a Christian. I mean, I mean that to me, guys, is the dissuasion, delusion part of the stuff where he's making you think I'm a good guy when he's really a bad guy. And... Here's the thing, guys, if the Antichrist was here, he probably would be talking about Jesus, because Satan himself goes by an angel of light. So, he portrays himself as an angel of light, and that is Satan, okay? So, what do you think the Antichrist is going to be like? What do you think the guy coming is going to be like? They're going to betray good, but they're really evil, and... I just point these things out, guys, because I want you to realize these things and know these things, and whoever's watching this, because truly, if the Antichrist is here, he's going to be, be playing a good guy. He's going to be making you think that, oh, I'm this great person, because that's what he needs. He needs everyone to think he's that, so when he's the one world leader, you'll do anything he says. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention this too, guys. I wanted to make this video and lay out my reasoning and all of my reasoning is in the Bible you can take a look for it yourself and you can align it with the things he's done it's very easy that's why even I've been able to do it and I'm just gonna tell you guys right now is don't trust in man don't trust in any man Jesus is not just a man he's the son of God and you need to trust in him because I'm telling you right now Jesus, who is Lord, is going to come soon, and you need to have a relationship with him in order to be saved, and that is a free thing. You can do that in less than a minute, guys. You can have a relationship with Jesus, have eternal life, and I'm just telling you right now, guys, is to keep living how you're supposed to live, live righteously, live by the commandments, live by the word of God, read the Bible, stay with him, and... I'm just going to say, if you're not saved right now, you need to repent of your sins, and this video coming up, you need to follow this video and build a relationship with Jesus right now, guys, because it is free. There's so much going on in this world. World War III is going to start at any moment, and I'm really hard-pressed to think that it's going to start in Israel right now, and I just want to say, guys, is that no matter what, keep looking up and stay focused, because... This is truly the end. The enemy's coming at us at every angle. And I felt like this was important to post this video because if we're gone soon, I want people to know who I thought the guy was. And I want people to know what I think is the truth based off of the Bible and what God has taught me. And I do believe this is something he's taught me and that people need to know. So, yeah, guys. Okay, I just made this basically what I'm saying is to plant seeds and for you to know this. And um, I do believe we're about to be raptured. So like I said, guys, just keep looking up. Jesus suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped, a crown made of thorns pressed into his head, bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, 
call down fire from heaven or summon legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now. There's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 